It's almost like uh, watching someone like Jeff Beck play like a waltz, like a, like a three four kind of thing. <laughs> straight out of god straight out of church so that was one section i had i think there's like an instagram video of me playing this while i was in nz i was testing out an amp and all and that's just what i happened to play so i think i watched the video back and that's why i was like okay cool that's a good one so we needed a another part and then there was this other sequence i had which went <laughs> In fact, what, what's happening is just going bow, bow, down, down. But then it's the chords you put on top of those. And then that resolve is from the earlier part. So that, you know, uh, the second part of the, the first part links up with the second part. So it's almost like you come full cycle there. That ending. I think from a, as you were descending on the F, mm -hmm. is basically like not Strauss one. It's that design. chord. That chord in this context, especially if you've got this A minor and this F, which tons of songs have got it, but that's one thing which slightly pulls it and then it drops it. I think I, I don't know, the first time I probably heard that was, oh, how is it going on? They don't resolve it from there to there. You tell us what that song is. Huh? You tell us what that song is. That song is called On Every Street. It's a it's probably one of my favorite Dire Straits songs. And uh, the song's quite amazing, right? Because you play it and you think like, oh man, it's recorded really soft. And you turn up the volume and then I think 75% through the song, the drums come in and suddenly it becomes so loud and you're like, shit. <laughs> this is Jeff Picard on drums, one of his, like, probably one of his best performances, just like, in the pocket. He's a good example of a drummer that doesn't really play that complicated compared to, like, you know, a, a bunch of other drummers, but just the way he plays, whatever he does, it just makes you feel good, and that's, like, 